because this is the, this is the first view <clears throat> that I saw when we bought the property because I stepped on the property you know from the from the road here and they were doing the survey <clears throat> and I stepped right here and I looked out and I just saw the beauty IG Farms, it's all about God. I here at the farm today, just got done farm chores. <clears throat> it's a nice fall day. Really perfect, perfect weather. Not too hot, not too cold. Wind is blowing. And uh, <clears throat> one of you all on one of the videos asked about, you know, doing a property tour that y'all would like to see, you know, more of our property here. Where we're planning on putting our tiny home at. And so I guess I just walk y'all around today and kind of do just like a little property tour on this property. We, uh, we walked around the Woodland property so many times that uh, y'all have seen that that property, you know, it's mostly wooded. But this property here is mostly open. We have a, have a little, you know, maybe an acre, half acre of woods here. And so uh, th 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 this property here is mostly pasture. And so we just, just kind of walk you around, kind of walk and talk and show you around, show you what this property here looks like. And this is the property where we plan on building a cabin, but we also plan on putting our, uh, our tiny house or our camper here, you know, once we get done with it. And we'll stay down here while we build our house here or either while we restore the resurrection cabin. So let's just walk around and I kind of show you some different spots on the property. You know, it's going to be a long walk and this, this camera only has about 20% on it. So uh, if, if the video abruptly ends, you know that the battery of the camera died. So, but let's see how much we can get in with just this 20% of battery. All right, so we'll start off back here. As you see, I had a side-by-side -side and a tractor park back here. And uh, this is our property line on the back side. <clears throat> our neighbor back here raises cattle and he has about 200 acres maybe even more back there but he has has a you know probably 100 200 300 head of cattle that he raises on this this property here it goes all the way down and comes all the way down but as you see let me turn around and turn you towards our property this is our 5,000 or 4,000 square feet hog pen here uh i don't know i forgot the measurements of it but i think it's like 40 going this way wide and then like 200 feet long and so we just kind of gave the pigs the bottom here as you see, this, this is the bottom of a hill, <clears throat> and then it goes up here, here, and then from there, if you turn here, I'm going to try to get you the best perspective I can, but if you turn here, this is where our pasture fencing uh, starts at here, and this is where we had a sheep at right now. And this 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 paddock here, this uh, fenced off section here, and we're thinking about putting the camper in here, and then moving the sheep down into this pen here, you know, because the pigs, we had them in the corrals now, and uh, we're thinking about giving the sheep the a stall in the mini barn. You know for the for the fall and winter and just feeding them hay yeah so once you get from there I, I, th th this fencing is gonna start here as y'all have seen on previous videos it's gonna start here and it's gonna go all the way down to the pond and I'll show you where it's gonna end but you can see we have we have this paddock fenced off and then we're gonna also put a farm gate back in the back so that we can rotate animals to each paddock but as you can see we started fencing off the, the next paddock uh, funds just kind of ran out because we're we're debt free a debt free farm and so the funds ran out you know and it really didn't run out it was just time to move on to another project because we allocated those funds to another other areas you know and other things we have so many things going on, on the farm you know we have to figure out what to do when and so this section right here that's where the where that paddock starts at where the camper is going to be over there and then if you look over here let's see if i can get you a different angle but this is where our house is going to be built at. We're thinking about doing a two-story house. We're thinking about doing like just a small 20 by 40 cabin with a big uh, 10 by 40 porch off the front of it, you know, as, as living space. And so we're, we're trying to figure out what we want to build right here. But we're definitely going to eventually build right here on this high and dry ground right here. And uh, <clears throat> we may build here first or we may build. Uh, restore the resurrection cabin down on the woodland property and if you don't know about the resurrection cabin i put a link in this video to, to, to some videos about the resurrection cabin on our other property so our, our properties are are divided y'all can walk with me boys the boys are riding their bikes around as we take this walk did a little bush hogging the other day so should have ran off all the snakes we mostly have uh black racers we have a couple water moccasins down by the creek in the pond 
but mostly just black, black racers and king snakes, so it's not too much to worry about. We have uh, copperheads as well, but they, they're mostly, yeah, we got rattlesnakes too, but not a whole lot of rattlesnakes. But yeah, the copperheads, they kind of stay over towards the woods, so as long as you stay out of the woods and away from the tin and things, you, you're fine. <clears throat> but yeah, our property, we have about 15 acres all together, and, and, but our properties are, are, are divided into two tracks, and the tracks are not connected. So this tract here is about five acres, and the other, the woodland property is about 10 acres. And uh, like I said, the woodland property is mostly woods. And this property here is, is, is mostly pasture. But as you can see, we have a couple little paddocks of woods in here, but we're gonna eventually clear, clear all that out. Yeah, to make it all pasture. And all this is gonna be fenced off over here where you see these posts in it for our cows and for our sheep. So as you see, this is the section for the sheep right here <clears throat> that we use for the mobile sheep pen because this is, good. this is some of the best grass that we have on the whole property here. You know, it looks amazing when you cut it. And this is why we're gonna have it as our lawn, you know, cause uh, you can just see, you know, how amazing it looks once it's down low and it's good and full with no weeds, not one weed in here at all. Yep, got a couple of trees that I cut down a couple of years ago. Pecan trees are sprouting back out, <clears throat> but that's good. So that's where the sheep are rotating it for right now. Got a little uh, blackberry patch right here. Blackberries grow on these uh, plants here in the, what is it, springtime? early summer and we're able to harvest blackberries from there got plenty of pecan trees around <clears throat> none of them are producing though they, they they drop pecans but by the time the pecans fall you know they're they're all rotten and dead used to have a barbecue grill over here we used to have this as like a little campsite <clears throat> but uh we moved the barbecue grill to the other property we just kind of moved it around as you see we have some trailers over here we have about four or five trailers in the rotation that we use on the farm but those are two of our trailers and uh, as you see h brace there that <clears throat> takes this fencing from this straight line and then we had this H brace here and then it takes it and curves it this way and then this is our driveway as you can see this is how we get in just take this driveway all the way down and then we just drive all the way down there and then that's where the house would be at down there <clears throat> y'all come on boys y'all go ahead just watch the snakes yeah everything's been pretty dry but this is the section down here where the, where the moccasins uh, cop, the cotton mouse would usually be it but Everything's pretty dry. Just tell the boys to watch out. They want to ride their bikes down the trails. But as you can see, I, I, didn't, I didn't mow. I was bush hogging the other day and I didn't really mow any of these pastures because my plan is to have these pastures here fenced off, you know, sometime this fall and winter. And so I'm trying to keep the grass long because, uh, you know, it's just, just grass that our animals can eat, you know, over the, the winter time. Yep, so walking down the driveway here. We get into the to the creek, <clears throat> and this creek it stays it stays a little bit wet in the winter time, but but it dries up in the summer, and uh, it, it, it runs through here pretty good. Uh, I know you all saw in one of our videos when the creek was running when it rains, and so yeah, that's the creek there, and then it, it goes off into this this wooded little section here. It gets deeper off in there, and I just actually made this a uh, little ditch here so that it wouldn't stay wet on the driveway. All right, so it's starting to open up a little bit more down here. And uh, this is all our property here, as you can see. Our property goes over in there a little bit too. We just hadn't cleaned up in there. Like I said, it's just so much to try to maintain. And then you can see where, where, where the grass is not cut right there. That, that's a part of the creek as well. The creek goes that way, water goes that way, and it also comes down here. It comes down through here this way. So it's just kind of like a, and we do have culverts. You know, one of you all mentioned that, that we should get some culverts. We have about three or four culverts. We just hadn't had time to put them in. You know, so we're, we're, we're eventually going to do that. But you can see down here, this this is the flattest part of our property here. I'm going to just kind of pan you around, see if I can pan you around slowly and show you this part of our property. But yeah, this is where it gets flat at. But the thing is, we would build down here, but it's flat, but this is like the bottom because it's a hill there that comes down into here. And then you see it's a hill there that comes down into here. So this is considered the bottom. And uh, a lot of water comes through here. Even though it doesn't doesn't rest or settle, it comes through here. And the water table is very, very low out here. If you dig down about about two feet, you know, the, the hole fills up with water, you know, in a couple of seconds. It'd be a good spot to put a well, though. You know, so we might eventually drill a well down here. Yeah. But y'all can go back up there, boys, and then come back down if y'all want. Can I ride from over there? Over you can. Uh-huh. Just don't run into the pond, please. Right. Just control yourself. Don't run into the pond. Right. Yeah, Tim Jr. wants to go up the hill there. And then ride his bike down. He did it one time on one video and then he face planted right here. <laughs> it was pretty funny. 
But yeah, so you remember where, where, where the fencing, the, the pasture fencing section started at down there where the sheep are at. And this is where it's going to end at, right here. And uh, <clears throat> we had a camper. We had a big fifth wheel camper that we had parked right there because we got a power pole right there. And we had the big fifth wheel parked there. And we lived here for about a year until we sold that fifth wheel and bought the Woodland property. We sold it because we needed the funds to buy that, that other property. <clears throat> and uh, we had it set up to where we were going to have a 30 foot gate, a 20 foot gate, and a 10 foot gate so that we can get the camper out because we knew we were going to eventually sell the camper yep so that's this this section here beautiful down here they, th these fields here are gonna be full of sheep and cows and goats and all those good things on down the line but let me take you up here and show you what the pond is let me keep you walking walking you up the hill we have a secondary pond over here we call it a turtle creek it kind of dries out but this is our main pond here and you see this is the dam here and uh this is the overflow you gotta do a little bit of work on it but as you can see, this is the pond. has a little bit of algae on it this year. We usually die the pond, but we didn't die it this year. But uh, <clears throat> it, it's been raining so much this year that, you know, we really hadn't, hadn't had a whole lot of algae to grow. But yeah, so this is the driveway. Continuing on up this hill. Let me turn around this way so you can see. But as you see, that's where that, 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 that the bottoms are down there. It would be an amazing place to build a house at down there. But like I said, a water table. It's just so low it would just push anything you put it in the ground out of the ground no matter if you had you know four foot footers in the ground below your house or to push it out of the ground just too much water in the ground yep because that water freezes and you know to push stuff out of the ground so you just continue to walk up the driveway i said the property goes on over here that's where that's where what i call turtle creek is over there it's a secondary pond i think that this pond is supposed to overflow the driveway so the overflow is right there and I think it's supposed to overflow into this secondary pond, but it doesn't. Instead of instead of overflowing over the road, it overflows down into the, the bottom there, and then it gets off in the creek. But this pond, let's see if I can get you closer. This secondary pond over here, it actually flows into the creek. So eventually we're going to fix all those things. Like I said, we've done so much work already on this property that, you know, clearing things. and I'm going to get all these trees cut down eventually. You know, because most of them are standing dead. A lot of them are. We can use those for firewood. Got a couple of cedars we can use in here for posts, fence posts and things like that. Let's keep on walking up the hill, see if we can get to the top and get done with the tour before the battery go dead. Got the boys on their bikes. What's up, boys? Yeah. What y'all think about the property? How's it looking today? Good. Good, good. See, I got to clear it out around the pond because uh, me and the boys are going to go fishing a couple more times before. Before the uh, fishing season is over, before the fall and winter comes. Yeah, so as you can see, we're <clears throat> getting towards the front of the five acres now. You can see the property goes over there. And it goes this way over here. It's kind of flat up here. There's not much flat ground. But yeah, you, you all see this, this part of the property a lot on the videos because we come up here to the water meter and haul water to the back. See, we got two farm gates up here. Got our driveway that we're starting. You know, we, we, we're just putting down gravel now. And uh, <clears throat> once we make it all the way to the back with the, with the base layer of gravel, then we'll come in with some nice looking, you know, gravel <clears throat> to make it look good. Yep, yep, but this is the top of the property. The street is right there, so our property goes, we have road access on this property. Let me get you over here. This is one of my favorite views on the whole property. Now up here in this section is where we see the rattlesnakes at, so you gotta watch out. I don't know why the rattlesnakes like to be up here. But as you can see, let me see if I can go over a little bit further. Stay up on the high ground over here, Tim. Watch out for rattlesnakes. <clears throat> yeah, this is an amazing view up here. It's definitely amazing once you, uh, during the the fall and the, and the, uh, the winter when all the leaves are, 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 are down. And you can see all the way through to the back. But yeah, just look at that. Let me just pan around and let you listen. I'm going to just be quiet for a minute. It's amazing. It's amazing. Got a big old pecan tree there. And I think that pecan tree actually started to produce a little bit last year. But yeah, so that's, that's, that's an amazing view right there. Like I said, it's one of my most favorite views on the property. It's looking down on the pond because this is the, this is the first view <clears throat> that I saw when we bought the property. Because I stepped on the property, you know, from the, from the road here. And they were doing the survey. 
<clears throat> and I stepped right here and I looked out and I just saw the beauty and it was untamed at that point like I said in the bottom down there in the flat grounds uh, what I call the bottoms it was uh, a bunch of trees and things maybe I can find some pictures and kind of show you what it used to look like before we cleared it out so it, it, it was raw and untamed but you know we just saw you know so much beauty and so much potential you know because this property actually you wouldn't believe it you know it was forsaken like people didn't 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 see any use for it you know because it was available but no one wanted it you know so but we came in and bought it and cleaned it up and we're making some out of it so if you can see like i said looking down on the pond let's see like i said the video goes abrupt ending you'll know why but i'm pretty proud of it so far because it the, the battery has held up for me let's see if we can look at some of these uh <clears throat> Other spots. Yeah, we got a persimmon tree. Y'all want to look at the persimmon tree, boys? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's go down and look at the persimmon tree. So we have so many wild edibles growing on this property. We have uh, blackberries. We have persimmons. We have just just so many things growing on this property. You know that uh, <clears throat> we have uh, trifoliate oranges. Uh, what else do we have? Got all types of stuff. It's probably stuff I'm not even thinking of. But we have a, a few persimmon trees over here by the pond. And we check them, you know, in the fall time. The persimmons really don't get fully ready until the winter time. But you can find one or two here and there. During the early fall that you can eat. And this is another spot that we love here. <clears throat> Sometimes we come in. And we'll clear out around this log right here. And I'm going to give you a view that we, that we have. We'll sit on this log right here. Me and my wife and the boys, and we'll look out on the pond. And, and sometimes the pond is up high, it's a little bit low right now. But sometimes the water comes right up to that log. You can kind of put your feet back up, no, just in case the snakes over there. But you can put your feet, you can be sitting on that log and put your feet in the pond and just, you know, enjoy life. <laughs> you know, it's a beautiful thing. Man, look at that view. Where would you rather be at? <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, let's see if we can get the persimmons, boys. Let's cool. see. Uh, this one might be ready. Yeah, the persimmons, you have to watch it because uh, if they're not ready, let's see if it'll focus. If the persimmons are not ready, then uh, they'll, they'll leave your mouth super dry. They'll take all the you know saliva out of your mouth. So yeah, you can hold that one. Let's see if we can find a couple more. I didn't know. Is it supposed to be soft and smushy? Yeah, it's supposed to be soft and smushy. That one, that one's a little bit soft, but I don't think it's all ready. Usually the ones hanging over the pond. Y'all stay back, boys, just in case the snake's over here. Usually the ones hanging over the pond already. Let's see. Here's one on the ground. Nah, it's not ready. What happened is the limb just broke. Yeah. Yeah, so that's just a little little, little, little property tour, y'all. You know, uh, this five records that we have. <clears throat> Our other property is about seven minutes from here. It's on the same road, but just in a, like I said, about seven minutes down the road. <clears throat> and uh, we plan on buying more property. You know, the Lord has given us visions of 100 to 1,000 acre farm property. And uh, who knows, we may be buying these properties and developing them so we can sell them, you know, to buy our, our dream property. You know, or these may be our forever properties. You know, so who knows, because we have our boys and, you know, we look forward to, you know, being able to hand all this down to our boys. Let me turn it around and let you see. Behind me. Pond back there. Then you got the, the open fields back here behind me. All of our fencing. Like I said, all of this is going to be fenced off. It's going to be beautiful and amazing. All right, y'all. So we're just sitting here in this spot that we showed you on the video. One of our favorite spots with the amazing view over the pond. And so that was the farm tour. You know, this five acre property. Like I say, y'all have seen the, the woodland so many times, so we want to show y'all this property and show y'all the fields and show y'all our dreams, the field of dreams. <laughs> Maybe I can name the video that. Well, but all right, y'all, it's IAG Farms. All about We'll see y'all on the next one. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun.